Yeah, Easter from the pond. This is on one of the first runs using a classroom minnow by my friend Slavo. That's gotta be one of my biggest bass, definitely the biggest for this year. Look at this guy. Yeah, it's time to give up, buddy. Him before he runs off again. Oh wow! Okay, that's one big bat. In this episode of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them <laughs> That's number two for the morning <laughs> Look at the pin textbook hookup I gotta thank Slavo for these flies Oh <laughs> Another beast Oh, I gotta get him unhooked and let him go quick. Can probably stick my fist in his <laughs> mouth. All right, buddy. Thank you. Coming back for another round. Show off. Bye now. There's my. Big dandy Easter bass. It's almost ready to go. <laughs> I got him on a big clouser and on my 8 9 weight. Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> Fishing ringworm strikes again. There's a bass in the 1 8 ounce bullhead jig. Stood up chartreuse. Okay. Can you lift him? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, he likes that. A little bit. Time to let him go. Thank you. To eat. Ew. There's one That's more on the ringworm. There he goes. Let him go. It's bass. Are you going to keep the fish? Of course I'm not. It's my number. Yeah, he's catching good today. That's number four or five already. Seems to be the biggest one too. There he goes. Once again on the chartreuse with the fishing ringworm. Time to let him go. Thank you, buddy. There's another jumper. is the bomb. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hey guys, I've been using the beef fishing tackle ringworm and the bass have been liking it quite a bit. It's pretty simple, you cast out 
I let it drift a little bit. The water is pretty dark, so that's why I'm using that chartreuse color. So far I've hit about a half a dozen. Let's see if I can get one on camera. Here we go. Nice one. the ring one thank you that's pretty neat let's try for more all I'm using is a simple plain bowhead jig 1 8 ounce with a 5 inch ringworm in the chartreuse car uh, using my Fenwick 10 pound test there is another hit right there I'm using suffix braid 10 pound very very simple presentation I would use the same for walleyes but the river is too high This is what happens when they hit it and you can't get the hook set tangled pretty good. Fix it real quick and go back in there. Pretty sure I can catch another one. The YouTube channel has been growing. I want to thank everybody for coming and liking the videos and commenting, sharing on social media. It's always well appreciated. Anytime I can, I'll answer any questions you might have. Uh, as long as I know the answers, of course. I've been away quite a bit with the new job driving a truck, travel the country and I don't have enough time to really play around with filming videos but whatever chance I get I still fish I did a couple of videos uh, in Pennsylvania in Nebraska down in Illinois you might want to check him out all live now uh, haven't done too much trout fishing or walleye fishing for that matter and uh, haven't been catching a lot of panfish lately although it's almost crappy time but the bass have been here to help with that get the blues out come on now there's a bite there's a fish okay let's see Nice one. Okay. He's almost given up. Yo, oh, look at the size of the leech that's coming out of the gill. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, that leech is feeling well. Okay, let's try to get this guy off. Hmm. I'll try to unhook him and show you guys.
bait. There's the fish. Much simpler than that. Ilyansky, здрасти, брат. Избягах малко от къщи. Жената ма прати да пазарувам. Реших да ги пробвам тук набързо. Така. Фанах няколко. Айде да реша да фана още някой друг. They all seem to be the same size couple of pounders and they're all hitting pretty good so it's not really a questionable bite or anything like that yeah guys and if you're out fishing now definitely check out for ticks there's lots of them out there. Very simple river presentation, casting upstream, letting it drift and using bright colors because the water stained like that. I wish there was small mouth in here to catch a couple of them guys. I might be up to about seven or eight fish already. Plus I lost a couple so I've definitely had about a dozen bites. Just uh In a way, the jig is too small for some of these guys. But on the other hand, I don't want to be casting anything bigger because I want to get every bite possible. <laughs> Come on. Let's see if I can get one more. Let's go. There's a bite. There's a drop off that they seem to be hanging in. That's where most of the bites seem to come from. When the water is dark like that, you don't even need to use a fluorocarbon leader or anything like that. <laughs> I know there's spike in here too, but not likely to catch one today. It'd be cool to catch one of those big crappies that are in here on that five inch worm. That part you never know what's gonna be next on the hook. seem to have gotten a little wearier. I'll try right in the current see if that changes the game.
the battery on my phone is dying so I might have to cut this video short managed to show a couple of fish there is a hit oh missed it of course well there is at least one active fish out there again look what happens when they hit it and you don't get the hook on time The hook set really has to be timely for these guys. Come on. There's a single blade of grass right, right in front of the camera. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, bass. One more. One more. Before the battery dies. Come on. There we go. There is that pike. There is that pike I was talking about. Let's see now. You see him? Told you there is pike in here. Now he's gonna zoom out. Are you ready? There he goes. He's just taking a breather. Tough as part is to be. Reeling him in and filming at the same time. Hope I don't drop my phone right now. That should be good enough. All right, buddy. There you go. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. And he's out. <laughs> well, that was a good time. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and go to my YouTube channel, guys. Thank you. Bye.